God's favorite family. I'm so happy you made it back to the channel because today would not have been the same without you. Hey y'all, what's up? Okay, so today's video is going to be the introduction to another mini series. I think you guys kind of liked the mini series last week, so I'm going to keep it going. We're going to do a mini series this week, but this week is going to be about the way that we make the ways that we make um decisions so i'm going to be talking about emotional decision making versus logical decision making um so this video is just like going to be an introduction what what do i mean when i say emotional versus logical when i say emotional decision making um some of you might already know what i mean by that um so emotional decision making is not taking into account like the pros and cons not thinking of not thinking things through logically it's usually just right off the back. You just react in that moment. However you feel in that moment, then you make the decision right there in that moment. It's basically off instinct. It's, it's on how you feel. Emotional decision making definitely has something to do with your heart, um, which is not always a bad case. Of course not. But emotional decision making from your heart can sometimes neglect or negate logic it can negate the thinking process the thought process that also needs to be put into making a sound decision so emotional decision making is basically just reaction right off what right off whatever the feeling was that you got from that circumstance situation that person it doesn't have anything to do with logic what makes sense it's just strictly how you feel in that moment it's free flowing people say that they're free flowing that's usually what they mean they just make decisions on how they feel about a certain thing if it makes me feel good then i'm just gonna jump into it and y'all know everything that feels good is not good for you you know what i mean so emotional decision making is that just basically um going with your feelings going with the flow going with how you feel about a certain situation when i say logical decision making um logic has to do with your conscience it has to do with your um with you being cognizant of different things with you using your brain using your mind to think things through it's like going step by step all the way through the process and thinking about the consequences of that decision thinking about what could be the pros what could be the cons if i make this decision um and making out a plan really analyzing whatever the situation or circumstance is and really making a logical sound decision now for me i think i would operate mostly from logic um, but also I have a side of me that is emotional, like emotional decision. Like I operate in emotional decision making when it has something to do that I'm really, really passionate about, or if it has something to do with, oh, if it has something to do with children or like next generation or just somebody in need, most times I just throw logic out the window and I have to be conscious of that and know how I operate and, um, um, kind of rein that in and kind of balance it out. So that's basically what I'm going to be talking about in this new series. Um, so this video is just like the introduction. What do I mean when I say emotional versus logic? But in this series, I'm going to be talking about how we can figure out if we're emotional decision makers or logical decision makers. And then once we find that out, trying to figure out how we need to tweak, um, one side or the other in order to create a balance, um, mindset, a balance between the emotional and logical side. Because too much of one, either one could be a bad thing. If you're always analyzing and over analyzing and being critical of every single thing, then you miss out on some of the joys of the world. But if you're always just going free and going with the flow, then you, you tend to make some bad decisions. Some that could have some consequences that you didn't think about because you're just going with how you feel in that moment. So in this series, we're going to be talking about decision making. And we're going to be discovering in ourselves, are we emotional decision makers or are we logical decision makers? And then I'm going to kind of give us like a self check so that we can figure out how we can get a balanced, sound, reasonable, loving mindset that creates a more productive and effective um, decision, decision making with, within our own selves. So that's what we're going to be doing this week. I hope that you guys stay tuned for this series. I'm kind of excited about it, y'all. And I want to know what your thoughts are. Like, do you have any idea if you're emotional or a um, logical thinker? Which one, which one do you lean more on the side of? Are you emotional or are you logical? I would say I was more logical than emotional. 
but of course there are some cases where i'm emo more emotional than logical so what what do you guys think where is your decision making at this point love y'all so much i thank you for watching this video continue to give me your feedback i love you guys so much and i appreciate you so 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 much thanks for watching peace and